Hey, this is Rob and Phil with Road Dirt, and we have been granted the opportunity by Zero Motorcycles and our friends at Blue Moon Cycle in Norcross, Georgia, to uh, evaluate a couple of their newest motorcycles. Uh, Zero Motorcycles is a electric motorcycle manufacturer out of Southern California. Uh, specifically for 14 years, they've been leaders in the technology of motorcycle, electric motorcycle development. All right, as opposed to combustion engine one that just went by <laughs> and um and the srs which is the fully fared version and the srf which is the street fighter version the naked sport bike version right there uh, are really uh halo projects of theirs it really shows just a real jump forward uh in technology in performance um durability of of, uh, of the battery powered engine and um and their charging times and things like that. Fantastic bikes. We actually were given both of them um, as an opportunity to kind of compare and contrast and really get a feel for this really new jump in technology by uh, Zero Motorcycles. So, Phil, what are you saying, man? Let's have a look around, right? Just don't shoot the clutch. Oh, there is no clutch. <laughs> there <laughs> is no clutch. There's no gear shifter either, but they're fast, baby. These things are crazy. They're torque monsters, absolute torque monsters. Well, let's have a look around. Both the Zero SRF and the SRS are basically the same motorcycle, just in different trim. Uh, the handlebar height on the SRS model is slightly taller than the Street Fighter bars on the SRF. Um, and the seating position is pretty much the same. The rear seat cowling is a little bit different on both of them, but they, uh, they share the same suspension system, the same braking system, the same power pack, battery power pack, um, the same um, drive motor, uh, that regenerative braking drive motor. They're both belt drive, they run the same tires. Uh, so essentially, two different, uh, one bike in two different types of trim. They both run Showa shocks, inverted shocks in the front, and uh, a single shock in the rear. And um, they both run um, J1 um, braking systems, which is a braking system that uh, is seen a lot on um, motocross, supercross, various types of off-road motorcycling. Um, their regenerative braking module is uh, actually is quite, is quite a power pack right there. It's, it's, it's belt drive as you can see and um, in econo mode when you roll off the throttle it just shoves it, it runs in reverse and it just shoves power back into the battery pack um, with each ride mode that you get into higher up with more speed more responsiveness more throttle response and everything the less regenerative braking you get but in econo mode um, it actually re you can really feel the regen braking. I mean, it is it's like applying the front brakes. You roll off the throttle, and the bike just dramatically slows down as it spools up and sends power back into the battery pack. It's quite an amazing setup. I spent most of the day on the SRS model, the fully fared sport bike model, while Phil spent most of the day riding the uh, F model, the Street Fighter, and. Um, he noted that the handlebars um, on the F model, when we got back, was, is when we really noted the difference between the handlebars on both of them, when, he, when we swapped bikes. And he noted that on the sport bike, it's actually got a somewhat higher handlebar. I hadn't noticed that until he pointed it out. But um, for a day's worth of riding, starting and stopping and things like that, we pretty much spent the day off and on for about six hours riding in um, econo mode on both of them. And uh, I got a little bit better charge mileage uh, on the fully fared bike than he did on the Street Fighter. Um, I think I was, by the end of the day, I had done about 125 miles, and when we finally finished, had about 10 miles left on it, according to the, um, to the, to the screen. Phil actually did about, I guess about 105, um, and had about 12 miles left when he pulled back in at his place, he let me know later on. So they're pretty comparable in, uh, in range. I think the reason that the uh, 
S model got a little bit better was, one, I'm a lot smaller and lighter weight than he is. He felt like he was a gorilla on a mini bike on the F model. And of course, being fully fared, even Zero says that that accounts for about 13% um, more um, battery life because of the aerodynamics. All right, so that's the walk around on the Zero Motorcycles SRF and SRS right there. Phil and I are gonna uh, shoot some on board here and give a full report, full write up on them, uh, specs on them, uh, photo galleries, our rider impressions because at Road Dirt, we specifically, you can go get the spec sheets on any motorcycles. We wanna explain to you and share with you what they feel like to ride and how they make us feel as we ride. We've been pleasantly surprised by these two bikes. Some people disparage uh, electric motorcycles as um, they just don't have soul. I say these ones have electric soul, baby. And uh, they are a blast to ride, that's for sure. Well, this is Rob with Phil and Rip Phil with Road Dirt, signing off for now, continuing to encourage you to ride life. <laughs>